Hello learners. Dot. Welcome back to YouTube channel of Teacher Shang Shang. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. In this lesson, learners are expected to present data in graphs. In lesson 1.3 learners were taught how to present data in a tabular form while this lesson learners will be taught how to present data using an appropriate gray particle presentation. There are five types of graphical presentation, the line chart, column bar chart, horizontal bar chart, pie chart, and statistical map. Statistical map can be classified into shaded map chart and dot map chart. A line chart is a graphical representation that connects a series of data points with a continuous line. This is the most basic type of chart used that describe the trend of data over a period of time. The example shows the trend of the CPI percent increase over a period of time, while column charts are used to compare values across categories by using vertical bars. In the example, the CPI can also be presented in column chart. Instead of continuous line, a vertical bars are used to graph the data. The horizontal bar chart is the same as a column chart only the x-axis and y-axis are switched. In horizontal bar charts, labels are easier to display and with a big data set they tend to work better in a narrow layout. In horizontal bar chart, data is displayed in a specified period of time. A pie chart is a circular statistical graph which is divided into slices to illustrate numerical proportion. In a pie chart, the arc length of each slice is proportional to the quantity it represents, the sum of its proportion is 100%. In quantitative map, data is expressed as a numerical value, look at the example of quantitative map which shows the percentage population of obese adults, in qualitative map, data is in the form of a quality and expresses the presence or absence of the subject on a map. Example. The map shows the geographical location on the different regions of the Philippines. Dot density maps are used to visualize distributions and densities of a big number of discrete distributed single objects. A simple yet highly effective way to show density, whereas, in a location map it renders all of the features in a dataset using a single, Uniform symbol, location maps help answer questions about your data, such as, where is it located? How is it distributed? That end lesson 1.4. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.